shopping. This is what you guys want to do. You guys want your friend to go to a custom mutations lobby. This is your friend's point of view, so this is what it's going to look like. You want him to stay at this lobby and just don't want him to move, so I'm going to stay here. Then you want to go all the way over to multiplayer. Now, once you have multiplayer, you guys want to take your D-pad. You do not want to hover over it with the mouse. You want to take your D-pad and just go over the map. Just hover over it, but like I said, not with your mouse, with the D-pad. Then after that, you guys want to go and press triangle or whichever button it is to pull up the social. Then after that, you guys want to find your friend that's in the custom mutations and you want to join him. Now, this next part is very important, so make sure to listen carefully. Now, what you guys want to do when you join, you guys just want to press the join button at once. You do not, and I repeat, you do not want to spam it because that will make it 10 times harder. You just want to press it once. So, I'm going to press X because I'm on PS4. I'm just going to press it once. As you guys see, I joined him, I pressed it once, and I did not spam. And when I join him, you'll see that nothing is highlighted on your screen. If you see something highlighted, you're going to have to do this over again, and you're going to have to get it so where nothing is highlighted. Because as you guys see on my screen, nothing's highlighted. It looks like I have nothing selected at all. And when you guys do get this, you do not want to press anything. And now what you guys going to be doing is you guys going to be doing some timing. So I'm going to switch over to your friend's point of view. That right there was just your point of view. Now I'm going to go to your friend's. So this is what's going to look like with your friend's point of view. So what your friend wants to do after he joins in, he wants to press circle or whichever button it is to actually just back out of it. And you want him to hover over bring party. This is what you want your friend to do. You want your friend to count down from three to zero. You do not want him to go slow. So you do not want him to do this. Three, two, one, zero. That's very slow. You do not want him to do that. What you guys want him to do is you guys want him to count down fast. So we want him to count down like this. 3, 2, 1, 0. That's exactly how you guys want him to count down. And when your friend says a 1, you want your friend to press X to bring a party. And when your friend says 0, you want to press X. So definitely make sure to listen to that very carefully. Now I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. So your friend should be counting down from 3, 2, 1, 0 very fastly. So 3, 2, 1, 0. When he hits 1, he should be pressing next to bring party. And then you should be pressing next at 0 just to put up the screen. Because when it's not highlighted, if you press X, it will bring up the screen. So when you say 3, 2, 1, 0, he's going to be pressing next to bring party. You're going to be pressing next to bring up the screen. And if you do properly with the right timing, you should get it. And after you do that, you want your friend to simply just select a map. He's going to be in charge of which map you go to. So if you want to go to IX, have him pick IX. If you want to go to Classified, have him pick Classified. Then you want him to go to a private match. And after your friend goes to a private match, you simply want him to leave alone. And after he leaves alone, that's it, guys. You guys got it. For sure, just easy as that. I'm going to go over it again with the other screen. So I'm going to switch to your screen and what your screen is going to look like. So here's your point of view. So this is what your screen is going to look like before you do the bring party thing. So what you guys want your friends to do, like I said before, you want your friends to do 3, 2, 1. And after he says 3, 2, 1, again, it has to be fast. When he says 1, he wants to press X to bring party. And then when he says 0, you want to press X to just bring up the rules which I'm going to be doing that in a few. You guys will see that. It's definitely not nearly as hard. It might seem kind of hard or like sound hard, but trust me, guys, it's not hard. I got it very fast. So here we go, guys. We're doing it right about now. So as you guys can see, we got it because we timed it perfectly. And what you guys want to do next is have your friend spring into a private match. Again, like I said before, he picks the map. Well, I'm going to pick the map. I want to pick the difficulty. After that, he just wants to leave alone. And you want him to leave alone when he's in that private match. So once he leaves alone, you should see that you can add the rules. And you guys can do whatever you want. You don't really want to change the map. Because even if you change the map, it's going to go to the map that your friend selected. So you'll be good to that. So let's go to your rules, edit your rules, and all that good stuff. So definitely a whole lot of an easier method. And when you guys are done with the rules, just simply back out. And when your friend leaves alone, you can just simply have him join it back. And when he joins back, the actual like person with the rules should be the host. And you guys can select the rules, edit them. Just make sure if you're doing Easter eggs, try not to turn on the pack a punch or open all barricades because that can mess up the Easter egg. So be aware with that. That's just on some maps though. Some maps you can do it, some maps you can't. I would just not do it just to be safe. But as you guys see, he just backed out and I can now edit the rules and I can just do whatever I want. After you guys are done editing the rules, you can just simply back out and press yes. After you press circle, it's going to say, hey, do you want to save the settings? You want to press yes for that. And, and that's about it for that. I went fully in depth, told you guys everything. And actually, I want to tell you guys one more thing. When you're counting down from three to zero, if you see that the screen flashes with the rules, that means you counted down to like slow. 
And if you see no flash at all, that means you count it down too fast. So you can measure the time in between there and you'll be good with that. Just make sure you're fast. Like I said, not hard. You should be able to get it. That's about it for this video. <laughs>